the Raiders and the Cowboys rack up 28 penalties in an overtime loss for the Cowboys where it looked like they finally figured it out and started to walk them down, but they just couldn't quite get over the hump. So, I mean, are you concerned with Dallas moving forward? I have to be. I absolutely have to be. Um, you know, Dallas right now is losers of three of their last four. Uh, the fact that they were penalized for a franchise record, and, and I know this game had give and take with a lot of the flags, but what happened happened, and Dallas uh, played sloppy football in this past game. Um, but let's not also act like that they're not missing, you know, a healthy Zeke, a, a C.D. Lamb, a good Amari Cooper. I mean, they're kind of, and, and oddly enough, there's rumors that they're trying to decide between Amari Cooper and Michael Gallup. To me, it's a no-brainer. Amari Cooper is clearly a top 12 to 15 receiver in the NFL. Um, and the fact that Michael Gallup, you know, he's not always been there for me through the thick and thin ever since Amari Cooper shown up. Yeah, he's been, you know, uh, he can be a thousand-yard guy. But Amari Cooper and CeeDee Lamb are the dudes that really ride and die with that offense. Um, yeah. And they're not there next to Ezekiel Elliott. And, you know, Kellen Moore is really making this offense look pedestrian right now. Um, boring up the middle run play, plays. You've got cookie cutter passes on the inside and out. And, you know, Dallas has always been credited. Well, not always been credited, but this season they've not been just throwing you their average stuff. They've been getting creative. They've been, been you know, been able to move Dak out of the pocket. And uh, the fact that Dak is playing his best football off of an injury is clearly a testament to the coaching. Um, but the fact that they're, you know, they were running the ball 60% of the time on first down before the bye. After that, that drops by almost 15%, um, and that drops them to damn near the middle of the league in terms of numbers versus top five uh, when you're running it at that type of rate on first down. Um, and I just think this shows me that Mike McCarthy, Kellen Moore, they're not trusting their offense right now. And the fact that Dallas, um, you know, or yeah, so Dallas and Mike McCarthy made the decision to punt four separate times in this game when the game was kind of manageable in third in the third and fourth quarter. Um, yeah, you had a fourth and seven, a fourth and three, but we've seen Dallas be aggressive like this. Don't be conservative and expect to beat a Raiders team that's going to be looking for a W any day of the week. Uh, you talk about slow starts all year with this Cowboy team. Um, you know, weeks one through eight, their second half point differential was plus 34. After the bye week, weeks 8 through 12, it is plus 7. So they're clearly falling back. They're not able to come out and immediately adjust um, after halftime. And you talk about their defense. They struggle with speed. Tyree Kill, Deshaun Jackson, uh, Kadarius Toney, those are speedsters that lit, uh, excuse me, that lit them up for quite a few yards. So if you can, you know, bust Dallas on the back end, they're going to be kind of exposable. But I don't want to truly freak out all the way and sell my stock. They are missing three of their five best players. Um, but it is cause for concern. I mean, this is what happens in December. Can you stay healthy? Can you face adversity? Uh, can you win games at all costs? That's a question right now for Dallas. I mean, Dallas is showing us that they're a football team that has to be healthy for one. And two, the offense has to be clicking. Yep. Their defense has been able to feast on teams in the first half of the season because they were taking leads early. So they were taking the run element out of it, forcing teams to pass. Defense got a lot easier. They were pressing the issue, forcing turnovers. I mean, have we said Trayvon's Diggs' name in, what, like six weeks? Right. You caught it. He was going to get on an island. Nobody's throwing his way. He was asked, are you bothered by less picks? No, it's it's not about me. It's about the team. And that was great to hear, of course, from arguably the league's best corner right now. Yeah, I mean, they, I don't think anyone's thrown the ball at him since he got that pick six in New England. Yep. Yeah, I don't think he's gotten any picks since then. Right. But he's, isn't he still at seven? He had seven through six weeks, and he's still at seven mm, I through believe 12 so. weeks. People stopped throwing the ball at him, but moreover, people started running on them, throwing to the other side. Teams are not down anymore, so their game plans are different, and they're not forcing the issue. They were feasting off of the offense. If Dak's not putting up points, then now they're not winning like that. But in another, I'm going to have to give Skip Bayless credit for this stat because he is a <laughs> super Cowboys guy. Jeez. Since Dak Prescott has been a Cowboy, they are 29-0 and 0 when they run the ball more times than they pass it. Why are they throwing so much? Mm -hmm. like it, it's proven that that's not how this team wins. 47 passes for Dak and only 20 rush attempts, and one of them were Dak. It's like, man, give the ball to Pollard and, and Zeke. Like, you have great running backs. Run the football. Yep. McCarthy but, brought into the spotlight again. Same reason he was under the spotlight in Green Bay for bad coaching through his tenure. It's it's not bad coaching, but it's getting to that point if it continues, obviously. And that's not something Dallas needs with the type of hype they have this year. Yeah, I mean, it's it's sad, really. I mean, they have a 
a Super Bowl contending roster, and we've seen them on bigger stages look great. Yep. And now they're just folding. Yep. It's like they can't sustain for a whole season. So, I mean, I don't know what they're going to do. Like, right. I'm interested to see what they look like tomorrow night. Like, they're playing a Saints team that's reeling, don't really have a quarterback. So, like, the expectations are sky high. Like, yep. you, you can't stumble your way through this game. Nope.